my friends think that he you are at another level like how come at this age you you have a job you have your life set up right whenever i used to sit in front of computer i would like just get some you know questions in my mind like why is this working how is this working and like what exactly is the logic behind it i was almost you know craving for such thing samne se mere ko opportunity mil gaya so i just grabbed it i didn't had many friends I, uh, you can see i was kind of introvert at that point of time bhai saab 15 की एज में फेलियर भी हो गए सेटबैक्स भी हो गए एंड उससे ओवरकम भी कर लिया काफी क्रेजी हाय एवरीवन आई एम ईशान शर्मा एंड मेरे साथ हैं गौरव लाहोती हु इज अ 15 ईयर ओल्ड डेटा साइंस इंटर्न विल बी टॉकिंग टू हिम अबाउट हिज होल जर्नी उन्होंने कैसे स्टार्ट किया हाउ डिड ही स्टार्ट लर्निंग अबाउट डेटा साइंस एट सच अ यंग एज एंड वॉट डज हिज पेरेंट्स थिंक अबाउट हिम एंड वॉट इज हिज फ्यूचर प्लान सो मेक श्योर कि आप इस वीडियो को एंड तक देखो हिट द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड लेट्स के स्टार्टेड विद दिस वीडियो गौरव हाउ आर यू कैसे हो आप I am fine. How about you, Ishan? I am doing very well as well. Please introduce yourself. Batao, aapke baare mein aap kahan rehte ho? Kya kar rahe ho abhi? And how is it going? So, hello there. I am actually Gaurav Lahoti. I am uh, 15 years old. I am currently in Hyderabad for my internship, and uh, I live in Raichur, Karnataka. So, I have been to Hyderabad for my internship in the summer vacation. Awesome. Yeah, take me back to the time when you first started your journey of getting into code and aapne kyun start kiya programming at that young age like what was your motivation like kyunki like jab main 12 13 14 saal ka tha to i was just focusing on you know watching tv asking my papa to buy me a remote control car or i used to play clash of clans all day long but like what was your motivation like i'm curious to know about that my journey started 3 years ago so right now you're 15 your journey started at 12 at 12 yeah. I was in the seventh grade. Like from very starting, my family had some restrictions. You know, they wouldn't let me go out to play cricket. At a point of time, they started leaving me. But like from very starting, there was a restriction to me. And uh, moreover, like I didn't had many friends. I, uh, you can see I was kind of introvert at that point of time. So what happened was like when I was in the seventh. On one day, I just came back. You know, playing cricket from almost three hours. Like I was just sitting in front of TV and uh, having my breakfast. And my uncle sitting next to me. So here my uncle is nothing but like you know my buddy papa. so i call him as uncle so he just asked me like what is your aim in your life and what are your future plans and what is your thought process on this so like i was still a 12 year old kid just figuring out what to keep my aim and what not to keep as a my aim so at that point of time my aims were you know constantly changing sometimes i used to think of engineering sometimes doctor sometimes you know a businessman i just kept quiet because even at that point of time i didn't had any aim my uncle then started you know explaining me the actual phase of world and you know the real significance of time that time shouldn't be wasted and uh, it was one hour general conversation between us and uh, that conversation you know uh, changed my mindset towards the world and uh, moreover i got into like first of all into computers because computers was my interest very back then in uh, second and third standards at that point of time we used to only have you know two classes per week that also to go to library but still whenever i used to sit in front of computer i would like just get some you know questions in my mind like why is this working how is this working and like what exactly is the logic behind it i thought of carrying the same interest and my passion after that day when i had the conversation i thought of like going with the computer as it was my passion and my interest and my curiosity towards it so uh, i started with the computers then crazy crazy yaar jab main seventh class mein tha jab main 12 saal ka tha i used to read goosebumps and you know watch comics and all of those things all day long but it's really interesting to see how you did basically uncle ne tumko sigma male bana diya at the age of 12 He played a pivotal role in my career. मेरे जो बड़े पापा थे राइट ही प्लेड अ पिवटल रोल इन माई करियर लाइक एट एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ही वॉज देर फॉर मी ही हेल्प मी अ लॉट यू नो इन गेटिंग इवन एट द टाइम्स ऑफ इंटर्नशिप इवन एट द टाइम्स ऑफ इंटरव्यूज वॉट आई एड फेस्ड सो एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ऑल्सो ही हेल्प मी लाइक इवन एट माई यू नो सेट बैक्स आई इवन सॉ सम फेलियर्स इन माई लाइफ आई इवन हैड डिस्ट्रैक्शन इन माई लाइफ बट एट एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ही वॉज देर टू मोटिवेट मी सो आई रियली एडमायर दैट थिंग अबाउट हेम भाई साहब 15 की एज में फेलियर भी हो गए सेटबैक्स भी हो गए एंड उससे ओवरकम भी कर लिया काफी क्रेजी सो वंस यू लर्न टू कोड हाउ डू यू गेट द अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइक द कंपनी दैट यू वर्किंग एट कौन सी कंपनी है ये इज इट अ इंडियन बेस्ड कंपनी इज इट अब्रॉड एंड हाउ डू द डिस्कवर यू एंड वाई डिड दे वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद यू एज यू आर अ you know you're below 18 why did they want to work with you and like basically what is your day to day task like when you're working at this company 
see what happened was there were two internships that i did first one was a full stack developer internship and second one like the prevailing internship which is a data science internship so the full stack development internship was uh, the one like what happened was um, my uncle the same uncle he's a manager at pharmaceutical company so after i completed the course i thought of like doing freelancing uh, stuff so i just started i registered for the freelancing website and um, then i started bidding out on projects but the problem was as a fresher and as a beginner you like don't get easily a freelancing project and those all things right moreover i didn't had any paid account or like premium account so only six bits per per week or per month i don't remember it mm-hmm. uh, at that point of time like money was a constraint to me moreover i didn't had any experience in this full stack development so like full stack development the idea of full stack development failed for me i then again sad and uh, i just thought like what should i do next because full stack development is not working for me so i mean sorry uh, freelancing is not working for me right right there was a thought that hit in my mind my uncle was a manager at a pharmaceutical company so uh, i thought of meeting the tech team over there and uh, showing them my projects and uh, like who knows like uh, by chance i get uh, something out of that mm-hmm. i was still tentative about it like very uncertain that i would get or no but still uh, i gave it a try so i went there i showed them my project and like they were totally fascinated by the work that i did they were uh, how can such a young uh, like 13 year old do such kind of things at this point of time like uh, developing responsive website and um, you know such beautiful and aesthetic websites at that point of time was uh, you know they were like totally astonished by my work so i just showed them and uh, at that point of time i, I was a beginner at python so uh, i didn't had you know a huge knowledge about python because th- i had learned data science and machine learning building of models but i mm-hmm. didn't know where to uh, like where to like implement those things at that point because i had a like a much more interest in full stack development part because it was you know a creative art then they said me that uh, you just come after 15 days we'll just uh, start with teaching you sap programming you know that mm-hmm. sap is used for commercial purposes and i said okay i'll just do it because i, I had no options at that point of time but uh, the thing was like god had intended something else from me because what happened was there was a person in that team who was you know very much interested in me so uh, he called me next day and he said that i have a friend in bangalore who works in a full stack development company if you say yes then i'll just talk about uh, the internship of uh, same full stack development to him regarding you i said him okay then go with it because my interest like was in full stack development so i said okay so he talked with him and uh, they took a interview of me like after 2 days i had an interview i passed in the interview like almost everything i said like correctly and i did it in a right way so i passed in the interview and then i joined the internship it almost went for 5 months then my 9th was completed by that point of time so now i was uh, going to 10th and there were some vacations so i was like i registered for the meetup website mm-hmm. so there i got an event which was of data science like it was general discussion among data science and like all the data scientists will be there so i asked my dad and my uncle so that i can just go for it but like they were very uncertain to send me because it was almost 200 kilometers away it was in the hyderabad so uh, like they were very uncertain to send me like i was the alone one to go there so traveling almost 5 hours from uh, my town to uh, hyderabad but still i managed to convince them and uh, they got convinced and i remember the date the event was on 21st may so i came there on the event and what happened was the, the event got cancelled because the host mm-hmm. father uh, expired on the same day okay so because of that the event was cancelled and like i was sitting at a corner and just thinking what should i reply to my uh, uncle and my dad like mm-hmm. they were almost like very tentative to send me there but still i managed but then the event got cancelled so i was just thinking but what happened was there were people like they were just discussing some things other people also came there so like they were discussing they had a discussion and i went there and there was a person who was uh, the ceo of crypto trading platform so he took my introduction like he just asked me like general things what are you in which engineering college you are studying i said like those all things and uh, i said like i'm still studying in 9th class so it was like totally surprise wow 9th class like still at that point of time what i never used to think of such things i even didn't know like what programming was like data science yeah. and those all things so uh, like how come at such a young age then he just grabbed me like he took me to his office 
and uh, there he and his uh, partner were sitting and uh, we had a like discussion and uh, there was again an interview then again i passed the interview like there were some questions that i didn't do but still uh, they were impressed by me and my work so uh, i passed the interview and then like they offered me the internship again they said like we'll offer you the data science internship like we'll teach you mm-hmm. everything in the internship you're going to like uh, discover all the data science uh, you know stuff and everything i was almost you know craving for such thing samne se mere ko opportunity mil gaya so i just grabbed it i said yes on that point of time but still uh, i was uh, you know again not sure that my dad would agree or not exactly how did you convince them they had a stereotype you know those cryptocurrencies commodities they are just a kind of gambling thing right but still i managed to convince him like more he was happy that i got an opportunity and moreover i got an offer from their side so he just said me okay for it and uh, then i joined the internship and like uh, that internship is uh, like still going on the same internship mm-hmm. that was how like i got offers like in between i even got offers from two company and like recently 20 days ago i got an offer from startup awesome and what was your st- stipend for this data science role it was almost 3 lpa at present mm mm-hmm. mm that's a good start awesome like how did you learn how did you learn to code आपने क्या टूल्स यूज करे क्या रिसोर्सेज यूज करे क्या प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाए सो दैट गेव यू द कॉन्फिडेंस कि ठीक है मैं भी कुछ बना सकता हूँ एट दिस एज एंड यू नो यूजिंग द टूल्स दैट आई हैव अराउंड अराउंड मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द थिंग इज कॉन्फिडेंस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ है एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज एट ट्वेल्थ में कोडिंग स्टार्ट करना इज एंड एन ईजी जॉब राइट मैंने तो ठान लिया था करना है तो अब ठान लिया तो देन दे शुड बी सम प्रॉपर प्लान राइट हाउ शुड आई गो विद दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मेड अ प्रॉपर प्लान ऑफ एवरीथिंग लाइक हाउ शुड आई स्टार्ट विथ हाउ शुड आई गो विथ सो बेसिकली आई डिडेंट एक्सपेक्ट फॉर कोविड नाइनटीन बट इट इवेंचुअली हैपन्ड फर्स्ट वॉट हैपन वॉज आई टुक अ बेसिक कोर्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स यू नो टाइपिंग वर्ड पावर पॉइंट दो इट वॉज टॉट इन स्कूल बट यू नो नॉट टू दैट लेवल विच वी वुड रिक्वायर सो एज एक्सेल वुड इवन हेल्प मी इन द डेटा एनालिस पार्ट आई टुक अ कोर्स ऑफ इट द बिगनर्स कोर्स राइट देन स्लोली वॉट एपन वॉज द कोर्स वॉज कम्प्लीटेड टोटली सो इट टुक मी फाइव मंथ्स एज आई वॉज गोइंग टू माई स्कूल साइमल्टेनियसली वन आर अ डे आई यूज टू स्पेंड ऑन कंप्यूटर्स लर्निंग टाइपिंग and increasing my speeds and then uh, what happened was there was uh, again the pandemic came right the covid 19 due to which there was a lockdown so i couldn't go out somewhere the plan which i made was like totally ruined because that was you know totally based on like to go some institute and learn about the coding but that didn't happen like ultimately so then i just you know sat there and i was just thinking like next what should i do with because although my plans got failed like at this point of time so at that point of time edtech platforms were in a great boom Mm-hmm. as everyone was in the home right because of that i took a online paid course i took it and it almost took me one year to you know complete data science part and full stack development full stack development like covers html css react js and js of some part and data science part i like got familiar with building of ml models and testing and training of data in those models like i'm not into deep learning yet but like at now like when uh, i'm in the hyderabad right now so i'm like simultaneously learning even the deep learning part so i'm just going with the nlp courses that's going on right now till data science i've like completed till machine learning and ai a part of ai i would say got it so got up that was your journey like tell me about your future plans like what do you plan to do what is your future thing do you want to go to an iit or do you plan to study abroad or do you want to just you know focus on doing internships and getting experience i never give internship as priority over my education i uh, take both hand in hand like education is always my priority and like uh, even my dad says my uncle says the same thing keep education as your priority even uh, the ceo of that company he also says me the same thing like never compromise your education over the internship i'm like i want to complete my education and the masters mostly from abroad i'm just planning for mit or stanford or harvard like only ivy league schools because i guess i can crack it so i'm just planning for it because of that i have like in 11th and 12th i've taken ib co ib curriculum so that i can just mm-hmm. after 12th i can just go for my masters in abroad so that i can not waste Got my it. time in like doing some engineering degree and then take my masters in abroad makes sense all right so i have one more question for you gorav and that is what does your friends in college or in school think about you like are you friends with them do they think that you're a nerd or all of them in your class is like that how is it so i see honestly telling i have never involved myself into friendship a lot till date i have never made any best friend like in my life oh my god because uh, you know my family had uh, many restrictions and uh, that restriction turned out to be very positive to me so because of mm-hmm. those restrictions i feel i'm bought right now i never go into friendship and uh, those things a lot my friends think that he you are at another level like how come at this age you you have a job you have your life settled you have your life settled this age 
there's nothing like that but still they get inspired from me even they have any queries regarding you know some computer or finance they ask me or like many times they approach me right but still i guess they take me as a nerd i feel mm no but i think you should make friends i think from this video you should be getting should be able to make some friends that is very important like you should be having friends that you can talk to at the middle of the night and just share what you're feeling that is very important yeah got it yes 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 do that all right thank you so much gorav for coming here and sharing your story guys the motive of me making this video is not to make you feel insecure ki bhai he is doing it at 15 aap kya kar rahe ho aisa main bilkul bhi nahi karna cha raha with this video the idea here is to inspire you to make sure that if you are 15 16 17 18 19 20 or whatever age you can make it if you focus on upskilling yourself if you focus on making a strong linkedin profile you will find opportunities for yourself as gorav did and shared his story in this video if you learned something from this share this video with a friend of yours and on social and tag me at ishan sharma 3390 thank you so much for watching till the very end and comments mein aake likho what do you think about this generation yaar matlab aajkal 15 16 17 year ke bacche कोडिंग कर रहे हैं जॉब ले रहे हैं कुछ भी चीज क्रिज कर रहे हैं हम लोग तो करते नहीं थे बट यू टेल मी वॉट यू थिंक अबाउट दिस इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू गौरव एंड आई होप टू सी यू अगेन थैंक्स लॉर्ड डिशान गुड डे थैंक यू सेम टू यू